So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your map and RPM axis configuration over here. Okay, so let me just open up a new tune uh, and I'll show you the easiest way to do it. And it has no effect on your tuning whatsoever. So I'll just open up a street strip. Uh, and I don't like this one because it shouldn't be like that. Here we have the vacuum, which is the KPA at 210. A naturally aspirated engine is not going to go all the way up there. Um, so what I like to do is I like to do it about 105, a little bit higher, only need 100, but 105 is good. So I'll just double click this, 105, hit enter. Um, then I'll double click this, I'll you, you know, click on it until it turns white, then double click till it turns, till the number turns blue and then hit enter and you can hit zero, you can hit, 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 hit enter. And now you can see my axis has changed, 105, 102, then you go to the bottom, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Um, I like to then, at this point, I like to right click and then fill the column values. And this is gonna change it to probably about every five. So we got, now we got zero, you have four, you have seven, 11, 14, all the way up to 105. And this gives you a much more precise um, reconfiguration. And you can even do it on this RPMs. And what I like to do is, you know, there's no point to having an 8,000 uh, RPM if your engine, you know, red lines at, you say, 60, 6300 like mine does. So what I'll do, and since I'm not going past 6300, um, I like to tune it, I like to put this actually at 6300, the max there, um, but you could put 6500 just to, you know, be safe in case you go over it a little bit. Um, and then even on the low end, let's say your, your engine idles at, um, you know, mine idles at 850. So 500 is really no good. Um, so I like to actually have two cells, one cell here, one cell here below my 850. Then this one I like to have at 850. Okay. So then I'll and, I, and I'll manually set these. Double click this to 750, which is perfect. And I'll set this one to uh, you know 650. And then there's really no point to have anything less than that. There's no point to have 500. There's no point to even have 650. But for educational purposes, I'm going to do it this way. And I'll set this to um, to 950 and then from here on out what I like to do is so I like to actually have these manually set to so I can have a better definition on my low idle exactly um, so then from here I'll take this 1500 I'll left click on it and and just drag all the way across to my 6500 then I'll right click just like I did before and then I'll hit fill row values. Okay, so now they're gonna change a little bit here. Uh, so that went from 950 to 1500. I don't really like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 1050, 1150, and now I'm gonna try it again. And I'm actually, I'm gonna highlight this 1150 and go all the way up to 6500 and it should, Feeling pretty good. Yeah, so now we have 1150, which I'm good with, 1364, 1568, you know, 2000. And you can play around with this, and, and changing these is going to have no effect on your tune whatsoever um, because we're not even going to be using, you know, the over 8000 or under. It's, it's, going to be, it's going to be absolutely perfect. So this is an easy way to have a better resolution on. Uh, the, on the RPA, our RPMs, and the, the on the vacuum. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you found it useful, go ahead and uh, like it and subscribe. Thanks, and have a beautiful day.